can you tell us a little bit about, and I asked you if this is okay uh, mm-hmm. before, can you tell us a little bit about the, you know, that you work part-time, you know, contracting, you speak part-time I, and I, you know, like I, I say part-time, like these are all things mm-hmm. you do. Plus you work with a district. Cause I know a lot of people, um, wish they had that opportunity. And I work with a lot of people that basically the district says to you, we want you a hundred percent of the time or 0% of the time. Like you have to make mm-hmm. a decision and it seems pretty, you know, amazing that people have the vision, you know, to, to kind of give you some of that flexibility. Now I will be honest with you, if you're a classroom teacher is a little bit harder if you're around yeah. kids every single day. Um, but when you work in like a central office position, it's a little bit different because Sometimes you have to do paperwork and that sucks, but you can do paperwork on a plane, right? Yeah. And that's the reality. So like, how, how does that work for you? Like how, how is juggling, you know, the, the, the multiple roles, um, but still, you know, honoring your district. Yeah. I'm super grateful for my district for giving me that flexibility, but I think most importantly, valuing me as a leader, as an educator, and knowing that when I go and when I speak and when I go to conferences, I'm going to be bringing back that value to my district. And that is not something that is going to go to waste. I Mm -hmm. am continuously learning, not only from going to sessions, but just as you know, those connections, those people that you talk to over meals or you talk to in the hallway, you get to dive deeper into maybe what they do and some of the the issues and the problems that you're tackling in your own districts, you're able to kind of talk those things through. And so my perspective has changed so much over the years as I have become connected on social media, but as I have been able to go out and be able to be a part of of these conferences and speaking engagements. And so um, my district has seen that I have these opportunities to speak and they really have valued um, my time and mm-hmm. and me as a leader in saying, you know what, we we will have you 50% and we will also let you do 50% what you need to do with Canva for Education, speaking, whatever it might be. And we trust you that you are going to give us your 50% and you're going to to work that out. And so I do have kind of days that I clock in in the district. um, And there are days where I have to flex that a little or weeks that I have to flex that a little bit, but it's worked out really, really well. And it's allowed me to be able to just be able to work in all of my passion areas. There's so many things that I love to do and I love to get to share my message and my heart for education. And so having that flexibility has just really enabled me to do that. And, and I know that it's rare and I'm so, so grateful right. it for is it. Rare. Mm-hmm. It is rare. And, and the, you know, as, as you're talking, the, the one thing we were kind of talking about before the podcast, the reality of it is when you are working for a district and you have that role, one of the things that I found, cause I had something very similar, you know, I was like 0. 0.9, mm-hmm. 0. 0.8, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.2, you know, that kind of that role. But I would go to these events where I was invited to speak or do workshops, whatever. And that was, you know, my day. That wasn't a district day. That was, mm-hmm. that was my day. But what was really powerful is that I'm a learner and I pick up great ideas from these amazing yeah. people that my district paid zero dollars for. Right. Yeah. And and then all of a sudden I take those ideas, bring them back, modify them to my district and they benefit as opposed to them paying for me to go to a conference and stuff like that, too. And right. when you say, when you, say you know, um, here, here's here's the other part. And I'm making an assumption here. I guarantee you that even though you have X amount of hours that you're expected to put in, I guarantee you put in more and probably part of it, you know, maybe doing stuff on the side for your district, re, you know, doing extra stuff because you feel that value. You want to make sure that yeah. you kind of go above and beyond the expectation, not just like, hey, sorry, that you, hey, you can't talk to me until I show up on Monday, right? Like that's my district time. And I think a lot of people don't realize that because if you if people feel really valued through that process, they they go above and beyond. But when they're kind of diminished and, you know, I, I think that like, I, I just wish more districts would be open to that because I, you know, they, it is kind of fascinating people that kind of hundred percent or zero, as opposed to like, Hey, can we benefit from this person? Um, part of it too, because they have, they bring such value to our district 
but right. also really inspire them just the way we, you know, want kids to have some flexibility in those options as well. So hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So good, good for your district.